Good, Good morning. morning. From it, the ocean. That's right. It is a beautiful <laughs> sea day here on the Crown Princess. The first of two back. Yes. Uh, but we don't talk about that. We're just talking no. about the sea days. We don't talk about the end yet. Okay. It's just denial. That's how that works. This is the ocean, not denial. Denial ocean? <laughs> no. Okay. So we are going to start the day with dinner because we decided to do something different today. Breakfast. No, no, no. We're doing different stuff. Oh. I don't want to start with breakfast because we always start with breakfast. But they don't have dinner food well, in the breakfast. See, what we're going to go do is we're going to go eat breakfast food, but we're going to eat it for dinner. So let's go up okay. to... It doesn't make any sense, does it? Let's just go get some breakfast and okay. some coffee. All yes. right. And then we have random stuff going on. We actually have to go do different stuff today. Yeah, lots. At 11 o'clock, Dee has to go off to uh, the voice <laughs> rehearsal. First one. And I have to go off to steel drum rehearsal. They overlap. So She's got a solo. What the heck? I'm going to be solo playing my solo because you so, can't come. I know. We won't have any footage from that. Maybe Man. I can be like, look, this is the bar I go to. Okay, bye. I'll see you later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who knows? I can't record during the rehearsal. Obviously. I know. And there's some fun stuff that we're missing because of these rehearsals. But yeah. you know what? We've committed to them. We've got to do these rehearsals. It's a good way to wind down Mega Vacay 2020. That's true. Get involved and step outside your comfort zone. That's true. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to get some breakfast because I'm comfortable with breakfast and <laughs> coffee. Too. So, bye for now. All right. We'll see you all around the ship. Bye. <laughs> we're not taking this elevator this morning. No. Nope. All right, Dee has a nice assortment of stuff picked out, except she forgot the meat. So I'm gonna grab some sausage for her, she said. Yes. They have succeeded in getting all the things, including some extra sausage. All right, the Zumba class is wrapping up here in Club Fusion. We are here for morning trivia. Wow, look at all that Zumba excitement. Nah. Oh gosh, well, Dee's gonna join anyway. All right. And I'm sure you guys have all been to trivia all cruise long, so you guys know the rules. 20 questions, general knowledge. You guys should all have your one pushy within your team, and it's a team of no more than six. We'll meet back here. Okay, we're sneaking out of trivia. We got had time to listen to 16 questions and we had to go. Dee's off to rehearsal. And I'm off to rehearsal. Here we go. Sherry Trifle. All right, yeah, slightly different from last time. Yep. Well, that's fun. They've got the British pub lunch again today and the menu is slightly different. The only thing that's the same is the fish and chips. The gentleman and I were reading it back there. Mm. Solo man is here. Whoa, I made it! All right, D came and found me. I just got done with steel drum <laughs> practice. We actually stayed a little bit longer because some folks wanted some extra help, and I got hired to be like the tutor He's to so help helpful. to help figure the people uh, so they could play the chords and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Dee's done with her rehearsal. I'm done with mine. What are we doing now? I don't know. I walked by the pub. I did too. And it's chicken curry, a shrimp like... basket. There's a fried shrimp basket. Oh. You missed the top item, didn't you? I almost Dude. missed it. It was basically I saw fish and chips again. I was like, oh. it's basically shrimp and chips. Okay. Um, I don't it was know. A we'll too. Yeah. All right, we're going to go see time. some stuff. And then we're going to go line dance. Oh, that's right. All right. And we have pop choir. That's the last thing today. Rehearse for Okay. Yep. Good enough. Let's roll on to some stuff. All right. Whoa. Wow, look at that fancy shot. All right, pub lunch. We're not hungry yet, and I don't think we're going to have time after line dance. So we hit one pub lunch. I'm sure folks will say, that chicken curry was amazing, and you should have tried it. Well, we're just going to have to book another cruise. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Captain. So bingo has cleared out and it is time for line dance class. Are you ready to dance like a line? How do lines dance? Yeah, pretty straight. <laughs> pretty pretty straightforward, huh? Yeah, okay, that's, that's a, a little so diagonal. Yeah. I mean you can still dance in a chair if you'd like to dance in one of the chairs, but it's a little bit easier to dance from there. Three steps back, drop forward, back, two turn back, two turn back, right knee, left knee, John Travolta, chicken, chicken, roll, roll. Got that right leg free again, so we go two in front. The turn is, it goes forward side, back side. Behind, around the world, side, 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 side. 
inviting you all to our grand finale art auction. We're gonna start exactly 10 minutes time, just at 1.30. All right, we came back to the cabin to grab pop choir rehearsal materials. Now we're heading to the International Cafe, maybe for lunch. Woohoo, we are doing all the stuff and things today, but I feel like most of the stuff and things we've done can't really be recorded. But after pop choir, surely there will be some content, you know, good stuff. Looks pretty quiet over here today. What have we good? Chicken panini, Cuban. So $3.50 for three scoops of gelato. I don't think I had been over here to look at the pricing before. So D got a tuna sandwich and that watermelon caprese again. I got a chicken panini and some orzo salad. All right, time for pop choir rehearsal. So we'll see you on the other side. We, so many days. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we are off to some tea time. There's a vow renewal out there now. Are you trying to renew your vows? That's so cute. I know. So tea time, we are told, is here in the Da Vinci. So tea time. We've never had princess tea time before. Hey, it's like tea time in a castle because we're princesses. Yeah. Tuna, chicken, and the vegetables. So I got an egg salad sandwich, a shrimp salad sandwich. D got a shrimp salad sandwich. We have tea with milk in it because you know we're we're trying to do the right thing. We're trying to do the proper thing. So tea with milk. Yeah. Oh, I'm backlit over here. I feel bad because, well, the waiters are all in like tuxedos, but no one else in here seems to have dressed up for tea time. So I don't feel too, yeah, I don't, true. Formal night, I don't feel too underdressed. Look at that water back there, though. There you go, camera. Thanks for the cool light work. Oh. Oh, look at my shadow. I'm over here in the sun. Oh, now we have scones. We've had cream and... Wow. We're learning. <laughs> Thank you. So I got a scone with jam and cream. This was some kind of a strawberry cake, a brownie. Uh-oh. She's digging the scone. That's good stuff right there. There's violin music playing. It's a warm scone. It's kind of magical. We waited to like the very end to come do this. Yeah, why did we do that? We've been busy. We're still busy today. Right? What have we on this tray? The hits keep coming. They came around and offered some cookies. So of course, we said yes to some cookies. We're going to have all the regrets when dinner time comes. I already wasn't very hungry, but we had to try it. So. <laughs> There's the violin entertainers over there. We have to run away before they feed us more food. That was a lot of food. So we're checking the menu to see if we want to do this tonight or if we want to go up because they have a sushi and fisherman buffet tonight, which sounds stinking delicious. There's our elevator. They will just keep bringing food and bringing food and bringing food. It's good. So that was kind of, kind of delicious, but we are full. Listen to how we echo in this elevator. And I think they do it. It's been on the, uh, the menu every day that they I do tea so. time. That's crazy. Yeah. Poor I guess days, they just expect to be fun. They probably do because those scones are stinking <gasps> delicious. Scones, I feel like number I ate one. That much. I'm full. Cookies, number two. Really? My right. green puffs. I like the cookies. Hello. Right. Right. Aloha. We're going somewhere. Hello again. Hello. Good dinner time. Mm. Not yet. Almost. It's trivia time. Trivia time. <laughs> so we came back to the cabin, got all cleaned up. We're going to hit afternoon trivia as usual. Look at my hand back here. It's all oh, creepy looking creepy. behind your head. Um, and then it's dinner time. I think we've decided. Buffet. On the buffet. So it's, We don't want to get dressed. <laughs> this is as formal as we're getting tonight. We've been running around so much today, and we've got a lot of activities we want to do tonight, and the dining room is fantastic. It is. Don't get us wrong. But we have so much we want to do. It takes a little while to yeah. get in. Uh, in and out, and uh, we don't want to miss anything. Correct. Being weird. Correct. But the buffet is really good too. Yeah. And sushi and fish. That sounds stuff, just right? like something. We Seafood. Eat. I've heard so it's really good. I so can go for that. I can find something I like. I'm not going to eat any dessert though. No. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go run up and do trivia. Yeah. Eat some food. Yep. And there's a whole lot of fun tonight. So. Tons of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> See y'all later. You're weird. Ah! Bye. Bye. Oh, well, they've got some convertible stage action happening. I don't think this is for the trivia. This might be for something that's going on uh, different. Cool. 
do make sure that any tablets, phones, devices that can connect to the internet are either face down or in a bag or pocket. Medallion net, it's a real possibility. You can Google things these days. Yay! We won some bags for trivia. We got 15. I know, we got bags. We stopped back by the cabin to drop the bags off so we didn't have to carry them to dinner. And now we're heading to the buffet. Yay! Yay! Yay. Well, that's true. We got like 10 minutes till the buffet opens, but we're gonna go get a table. Table secured. So it looks like this side is actually not doing the Sushi and Fisherman's Buffet, which I was confused on. So we're gonna go over to the other side of Horizon Court, where I already peeked over there, and they have the placemats and cool decorations and stuff. So on this side are all the people and the placemats and all that stuff, so. See, that's what tables look like when they're set up for dinner. There we go, we'll get us a little peek. It has not opened yet, but it is about to. Yeah, we should have known when there was no placemats or anything on the other side. We had gotten uh, water over there, but see, they have the dinner glasses. All right, doors are open. Dee is going to go check out the food. Well, I see some sushi, and I see a little bit of seafood. What are those fried balls of wonder? Fish cakes. Oh, fish cakes. It's so hot in here. All right, I'm going to go get me some food. All right, let's take a journey. I got some sushi, some curry vegetables, potatoes au gratin, asparagus, pea pods, fish cakes, spare ribs, paella, salmon. I think there's some pasta under there, too. <laughs> I don't know. It's an array of wonder. We're on the hunt for ice cream for dessert. Flat? This is very flat. We're on the right track. There's a giant coffee cup. Anyway, the buffet was, uh, it was okay. It was a little disappointing. There wasn't as much like seafood as I would think from a fisherman buffet, but what I had was pretty good. Curries and random things. The fish cakes were really good. All right, he made us some large cones today. Wow. Ice cream cam. What is this place called? The Mix. I haven't even really paid attention to that bar. All right, um, I'm probably gonna take a visit to the club before we get too far in here. Man's club. Never knew what a man's club looked like on the inside, did you? Now we're gonna go snag some seats for the show. We're pretty early, so I'm thinking it's gonna be empty in there. Princess Theater. Look at that grand entrance. Wow. Still searching for it. Whoa. No one is here yet. Oh my goodness. All right, we got our choice of seats. Dee is still working on that ice cream cone. It was huge. Just because I'm fast at eating mine. <laughs> like, where'd you Anyway, go? can't record the show. So, bye. We'll see y'all on the other side. So sad. It was probably really good. Yeah, the show's gonna be great. Y'all just can't see it. That's so sad. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so they just wrapped up a Captain Circle event in here and we are getting ready to do Broadway Musicals Trivia. Hello, hello, good evening everybody. Welcome to our Broadway Musicals Trivia. Do get yourselves into teams of maximum of six players. Minimum of one, of course, but maximum of six. But thank you for joining me for the Musicals Trivia. Growing up and seeing my Roma, I said, when I grow up, I want a woman like that. All right, we found a seat in the corner for this game show that is coming up next. We're not going to have any kind of grand angle as to what's going on, but anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, coming next in here about seven, eight minutes away, it's how men and women think, because apparently the brains are different. So tonight, if I am speaking and the question has a blue background, that means it is a male brain question. Only men will ask that question in the survey. So to answer that question, you have to think like a man. However, if it is a pinkish red background and I am speaking or I'm reading the question, you've got to think like a lady. My top tip for men is to say, not you, dear, but generally speaking, I think this could be the answer. So this is a very useful phrase which you may play many times during the event. 
I mean, so, ladies may need that phrase too at certain <laughs> points. It's not your relationship the survey, it's the general world of public, so don't, don't make it a personal event. With that, we are ready. 25 questions slash statements. If you have a little bit more light front of house, front of stage, please. And here's question number one. A man who cancels his engagement should not expect to have his ring returned. That was a fun little game, and now we're heading back to karaoke. I can already hear it's kicked off just a couple of minutes ago. I don't have a future figured out, but what do you say to taking chances? Maybe you could take me in. What do you say? And I don't know much about your We've come back to the cabin to find our pattern for tomorrow, a day at sea, and disembarkation paperwork, or as I like to call it, debarkation, because I can make debarkation jokes. I still don't know if you're supposed to turn your top. Oh yeah, and then we have our chocolates up here. Hey y'all. Good night. That's a good point. Um, well, what we were just talking about is that um, we thought that today, like tonight, they would have us switch back to Eastern Standard Time. To get used to it. Because the ship is still on Atlantic Standard Time. And I know when we get back, it is Daylight Savings Time, but that's the Sunday after we get back. We right. back on a Friday. So they're going to have to put us back on Eastern Standard Time at some point, but it's not in today's patter. It's not in tomorrow's patter, and that's the last pitter patter we get. It's weird. Hmm. I think on that paper they gave us, yeah. you were supposed to pay attention to it. No, that's dumb, because they left us a cute little note last time with like a clock well, on we it. We need to find it. No, but it was only for setting the clocks the one way. They need to bring uh, us another note. Anyway, yeah. I'm thinking tomorrow we're going to jump back to Eastern Standard Time, but I haven't seen any um, correspondence of that. I so know, we'll weird. just have to check the ship time on the TV tomorrow or something. Fun. We're wiggling some. Uh -huh. Yeah, but... It's night now, and we go on bed. I'm tired. So you sang a song. We played some it was games. A hard song. <laughs> True. But any other fun thoughts for today? No. <laughs> That's it. So we are going to bed. Just we'll tired. see y'all tomorrow. We got one more day at sea. All yeah, the ground burns. We gotta us. pack at some point because we have a lot of stuff to do. That's a lot. It's rehearsaling. A lot. Rehearsaling. Yeah. Oh, that's here not a we word. come. Rehearsaling. Sure. Rehearsaling. Oh, it's we like do. 11 oh gosh, it's late. Or you know what? It could be ten o'clock because we may have to we change. Did ten fifty-five or nine fifty-five? All right, we're going to bed. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. But wait, it's time for one last episode of In the Shower with Jay from Mega VK 2020. So, let's get started. Now, we did a little bit of In the Shower earlier. Um, it's not the most spacious shower. It's a little bigger than the Armonia. Uh, and the shower curtain works fine. When you pull it, you know, it, it, it tends to open and close just fine. Hmm. The main issue with this shower is the shower head. Um, it doesn't detach. It doesn't go up or down. You can, you know, wiggle it around a little bit if you try hard enough. But like I said, it's at the level of my ear. So in order to wash my hair, I've been having to do squats in the shower. D2, this is this this shower head is too short for both of us. That's been the main thing. But let's come on in the shower. So we'll drag this curtain all the way around. It sticks a little bit, but it's not terrible. Again, not the roomiest shower. <laughs> camera strap every time oh my gosh but you know there's some space here so you know when you're negotiating yeah you're kind of up against the shower curtain but I could do a little cha-cha in here if I tried so not terrible the biggest thing this short shower head why won't it move why won't it adjust anyway oh I have to give it a rating you know what, it didn't bother me as much as the Armonia, but I'm gonna give it like a four out of 10. The water pressure was good. It's got different settings on the thing, four. Oh yeah, one other thing that was a little annoying is it's very easy for the shower curtain to fall off these little hooks because it did it to me a couple of times when you're sliding it around because, um, you know, they're just open. Anyway, that's it. <laughs>